Hey there, beloved ones. This will be pretty quick. I just want to do a quick exhortation. I mentioned it on the end of CES. I was uh, seeing Amazing Grace today in church. So funny, my pastor was talking about, man, we go so many, and the hardest people to get saved are the religious. I'm a minister of my church. He's all great. Uh, do you know you're getting to heaven? You know, because they, they still all trust in their own righteousness because it seems so right. So hard to get people saved that are religious. But um, so there's a verse, actually a, 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 a verse in the hymn, Amazing Grace. Now, most people know the first verse of Amazing Grace, but they don't usually pay much attention to the other ones. But something caught my eye today, I think it's verse three, and it says, was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved. And here's the thing. There's so many people that are trusting Christ that will go and listen to false teachers and then get fear in their heart. The grace taught your heart to fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? So when you were lost, the grace of God showed you, hey, I'm lost. I need to be reconciled to God. There should have been a fear in your heart that you were not at peace with God and you needed to be reconciled, right? Because the Holy Spirit convicts the world of sin because they do not believe on Christ. But once you came to Christ and you put your trust in what he did, grace, those fears, relieve. Okay, so grace teaches your heart to fear when you're an enemy with God, but also grace relieves those fears when you've been reconciled to God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it, it's so sad that so many people are in torment by false teachers. I, I don't know why you guys listen to them. I mean, if they have another gospel. These people are claiming to be sinlessly perfect. Paul himself said he had not yet attained it because he was still in this vile body, but he was going to strive and we all should strive. We should all strive to be godly, perfect, mature. But you're not going to be sinlessly perfect and vile, corruptible flesh. These people are deceived. All right, so let's look at some fear here. First of all, let's look at this good news. In Acts 13, 39, And by him, all that believe are justified from all things, which you cannot be justified by the law of Moses. See, it's faith in Christ. First John tells us this, There is no fear in love. But perfect love casteth out fear, because fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Because you're not resting in, in God's love for you through Christ. You still think there's some condemnation on you, and there is not any. All right? For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Sound mind means peaceful mind. Let's go over to Galatians and see what the fruit of the Spirit are, all right? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So the Holy Spirit will get you to fear until you're saved. But there's no reason for you to fear once you're in Christ. The good news of the gospel is that you're justified of all things because of Christ, all right? It's him, his righteousness, not having my own righteousness, but the righteousness of God, which is by faith. Unto all and upon all them that believe, okay? Don't let people twist the scriptures up on you. And, and you know, this ancient heresy of Pelagianism, that God's grace is your ability to live sinless and earn your own salvation. That's an ancient heresy, an ancient one that's coming back to fruition. And it's a lie. Paul said this vile body. He mentions it in Philippians. I want to do a video on that tomorrow. He hadn't even attained perfection in this flesh. But he wanted to press forward to the high calling of God. We want to strive for it. But you'll never be perfect in this vile body. We're a new creation. We're sinlessly perfect in our spirit. That's the new man. But the old man in the flesh? Mm -mm. He's the old man. He's still there. He's supposed to reckon him dead. Because they that are Christ have crucified the flesh and the luster of. We're supposed to know that the body was crucified. And think that way. 
so that we can walk in the Spirit. But you shouldn't be fearing. See, it's grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved. The fear was to bring you to God so that you could be reconciled to him through Christ. But once that happened, you should have joy and peace and security. Okay, guys. God bless.